on the instrument trolley for cystoscopy you will have to have a uh, few things that you need to check uh, you need a lens uh, you can do mostly with 30 degree lens but if your purpose is to examine the urethra more thoroughly it is better that you use a 0 degree lens but in practice most of us use a 30 degree lens for all purpose urethroscopy, cystoscopy and everything sometimes you need to examine the anterior part of the bladder anterior wall uh, just close to bladder neck and for that purpose you may need to use sometimes a 70 degree lens but in the video I'll show you how to examine that part of bladder with 30 degree lens only and thus uh, you need not have so many lenses in your armamentarium so one is the lens second you should be clear about the type of sheath that you are using normally you have three type of cystoscope sheaths and you can see the number one is the 17 French here this is the uh, 19 French sheath here and this is the 22 French sheath here in the French sheath you will also see written below the numbers these numbers indicate what size of ureteral catheter can pass through the working channel when the cystoscope lens is in place so you should know which sheath to use if you are doing a urethral cystoscopy only for examination under local anesthesia it is better that you use a 17 French sheath but you, if you think you need to do a biopsy of the bladder then you need to put in a biopsy for SEP also through that which should be ready on your trolley this is the cold cup a cold cup biopsy for SEP you can see the cups see that's how it opens and closes so it's a cold cup biopsy for SEP keep it ready this will go only in the 19 French sheet or greater size of the sheet not with the 17 French sheet okay if you are contemplating to do a ureteral catheterization and a DJ stenting or something else and you th then you should use a thicker sheath 22 French sheath okay so here I'll be using a 19 French sheath in this patient then this is the bridge a connecting bridge and I'll show you how to connect the bridge when it I tell you how to assemble the lens you will need a jalocane jelly for lubrication and this is 4% jalocane to anesthetize the urethra you should also have ready a meatus calibrator sometimes meatus is narrow and to allow the atraumatic entry of the stoscope inside you have to calibrate the urethra and then the set of tubings this is irrigation inflow set and this is irrigation outflow set you should also keep a couple of pads and gauge pieces on table and also good idea to have you know, a culture sample uh, bottle sometimes you need to collect a sample of urinary culture uh, in the procedure so that's about the instrument trolley let's move to the patient let's see how to assemble the cystoscope and I have certain points which are important this is the cystoscope sheath first you take this bridge and you have to apply this bridge here in the bridge there is a zero here and in, a, in, a, in this cystoscope sheath also there is a zero here and you have to connect zero to zero and then you rotate this will lock it is important that you lock it properly right now next you put in the lens in this sheath uh, this is the 30 degree lens now when you are going to introduce lens keep this thumb here and let the tip of the lens rest on the thumb if you don't have the thumb and you just put it in you are wobbling and you may hit the tip of the lens with the back of the bridge and traumatize your lens if you have a thumb here rest it here and then you gently advance a stable scope into the bridge now sometimes because of excessive use there is some band here and you encounter some resistance while you are introducing the lens so be careful if there is resistance don't push it otherwise gently this will it automatically go now, as you come at the back end you will see a cut here on the cystoscope and you see a slit here on the on the uh, bridge you can see here so you have to align this slit with this slit here and the cystoscope slit into this then they fit with each other and then you lock this it is very important that you lock it properly otherwise the cystoscope may disassemble in the middle of the procedure and then create a lot of confusion so it is vital therefore to lock properly the bridge to the sheath and a scope to the bridge 
having done so this is the light source which you have to connect at this point now before you connect light source you examine is there any dirt here if there is a dirt here you may have to clean this with the gauze piece don't have any dirt here don't have any stain here clean this area well and not only this area examine the eye piece clean this well tip clean this well there should be no stain or dirt or anything here and put this light source here okay then you connect the camera now before you couple the camera with the scope you must make sure there is no water here and there is no water here if there is a water you clean it because if there is a water film in between your image will be blurred and then you have to rotate couple it here and leave it and ensure that they are nicely fitted in now when you have this lens fitted in now once you have assembled the lens light source and camera then you should do what's called white balancing for white balancing you have to use a flat white surface got piece a better still to have something which is more flat clean and white put it put the lens over it and press the white balance and next you connect the irrigation lines this is the inflow water inflow it is closed here you open it later and then you connect the outflow pipe outflow pipe is connected here and then this set, this tube should be allowed to drop down into the uh, funnel now before you start putting in sister scope it is very important that you open this channel and let the irrigation flow should flow through this now this will serve two purpose one it will flush the sister scope sheath of all the chemical liquid uh, as you know we sterilize these lenses and sheaths with chemical uh, liquid and if you take it out even if you wash it properly some chemical liquid can remain inside so you connect the irrigation connection switch it on and let it flow for a while so that it is flushed out the second purpose it does is that the air bubbles are eliminated from the lumen of the sheath and then they will not go in the urinary passage so before you start introducing the scope in flush this channel now we have spent about good 7 minutes and this liquid jalokin liquid has stayed inside in this time i am sure this urethral passage is nicely anesthetized and we will now introduce our sister scope sheath into urethra and let me explain to you how do we do this